Charlotte's the second largest banking city in the country, in the world, I guess. It just has grown so much. It, it was just a little neighborhood. Mama used to send us up to go to the grocery store, right up there where Discovery Place is now. In the 20th century, North Carolina cities grew into metropolitan centers of banking and technology. As North Carolina's urban areas have developed and changed, so has the language. The landscape of the city, the language has changed as well as the landscape of the city. Just like you see uh, a myriad of changes with all of us, that's the same way the language has changed. I think if we were to look at the urbanization of Charlotte one, and the change in languages, one of the easiest ways to look is to see where the roads were being widened to accommodate the traffic. Who's moved where? Most of the people here are from someplace else. You don't, you don't have, you know, like mm -hmm. the, the typical Charlottean doesn't exist very much. <laughs> so when you actually hear it, when somebody says, this is a Charlottean accent, you go, oh, that's what a Charlottean sounds like. But, but it needs to be pointed out. The older folks, uh, you know, they, they speak kind of the old country type, but the new people are, are I mean, like next door. Um, he's from Albemarle and she's from New York. So you get a bit of a mix of the speech. But um, like my parents, they, they speak the old North Carolina country. The minute I go out of town or go anywhere, they say, now where are you from, Texas? Makes me so mad I could die. It's very hard to hear a pure Southern dialect, which suggests to me that it's changed a lot. Uh, in fact, I'm always struck by hearing it. Ah, this is someone probably from Charlotte, not from some other place coming to Charlotte. Most of my neighbors are from Pittsburgh, Syracuse, Puerto Rico, Detroit. From New York, from, you know, all over the country. And these Northerners come down here and we take them in. And before you know it, it ain't the same. It's really not. They don't think and act like we do. Well, they sure don't talk like us. They have a sharpness to their speech, don't you think so? Yeah. Most Southerners and all, I mean, I feel like we have kind of a soft, melodic, of course, why shouldn't I think it? I don't know any difference. So many of us are coming to the South now, um, and the whole, the whole nature of the South will change because of it. So we will be North Carolinians, um, whether, whether the locals like it or not. This community, I think, has always been willing to change. At the same time, I think we've had the, uh, the feeling that we needed to preserve some of those important qualities that uh, set us apart from um, uh, other large urban areas. I think it's more important to be um, who you are or where you came from and to be of the place. I think the history of a place, the history of your family, um, the stories that you carry with you are much more important than uh, how you make a living. And growing up in this neighborhood and knowing, um, you know, what's moving in, what's migrating in, I think it's, it's great. I really do. Charlotte is very progressive. They want to attract a lot of businesses, and I think that's great. I think it's wonderful. I want to see Charlotte grow, I, and, and I take very, I watch Charlotte, and I watch all the things that happen over here, and I think it's wonderful. I don't want us to lose all of our Southern charm, but I think it's okay to lose some of it, and I think it's okay for us to not sound so country. This is a business town. Business and economics and banking um, are sort of the tail that wags the dog here. In order to be able to transfer, in order to be able to be promoted, to be successful, 
Uh, it's good to sound very professional when you get on the phone with someone in New York or San Francisco. So people erase the accent that makes them who they are. There certainly has been uh, a, a subtle change in linguistic quality, if you will. It was a little different back in the days when everybody was uh, working in a cotton mill and um, they had certain styles that were appropriate then. Communication today is so important, not only in the words you say, but in the way you say them, the image that we project is in large measure determined by the way we say it. If we aren't very careful, it, we might be characterized as, uh, as a country bumpkin, for example. I don't think it's uh, you know a, a, a great you know big deal to lose the South in Charlotte because Charlotte is moving up. You know if you're from the South, you're supposed to talk with a twang and a na 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 na. Nah, not anymore. I think we've changed a lot in, in the way we view people and the way we see people coming in. We used to be kind of afraid of people who came in, and I don't think we are anymore. I think we're happy to have them, even if it does change our sense of place, or even if it does change our accents, or change how we talk, or what we think. I think that's okay. That's okay. I think that's it. Well, we're evolving. <laughs> <laughs>